Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Tame HD. So yeah, this is going to be a great time. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ticket Tuesday. I am your host, Ronan Tame HD. And on this week's edition of Ticket Tuesday, a throwback episode, we watched Jaws in 3D. And uh, obviously, Jaws is an absolute classic film by Steven Spielberg. You know, not, can't go wrong with just uh, appreciating the classics. So, um, the... Well, it's great. I love the soundtrack. I think the story's great. Uh, the Bruce puppet's great. You know what? I'll tell you why I like this movie and why it's a classic. Back at the house. You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Shark! Yeah, they're all gonna die. Oh, You're gonna need a bigger boat. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Time HD, and this week we watched Jaws, as you can see from this beautifully framed poster that I have here. Uh, as you can tell, I like the movie. But, um, uh, I saw this movie in the theater. Uh, it was like a, an anniversary thing, and it was in 3D. Um, and honestly, <laughs> the 3D wasn't really that noticeable, to be honest, most of the time, uh, because the film wasn't made for 3D, so there wasn't much 3D aspects to the film. Um, I mean, there was a part where there was like this spinning thing on a boat, and that looked pretty neat in 3D, but that was about it. Uh, there was also like a, a barrel like a barrel on the on the bottom right corner, but that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this film, it was directed by Steven Spielberg in 1975, an absolute classic, uh, to be expected, of Spielberg. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed this film, um, because, well, I, I've already seen it, kind of. I mean, I saw it on TV one time, kind of half-watched it, because you know that's what you do when you watch stuff on TV. You don't really watch it, watch it. But, um... Uh... This movie... There's a lot of stuff that I didn't remember from when I watched it the first time. And, um... I just... I don't know. I think also the Bruce puppet, which is the, the, the shark, if you didn't know. Um... I think the Bruce puppet was great. It would have been great if they were able to get the animatronic working. If you didn't know, they tried to get an animatronic for Bruce, but it didn't end up working... And then they just settled for a puppet. Uh, the puppet looks great. Um, I don't have a problem with the puppet. But, uh, I don't know. Also, Bruce is pretty intimidating being a 25-foot, sh like, long shark. Huge-ass shark. Um, he's cool. I don't know. He, he eats people. That's pretty sick. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't know. I just really think that... I don't have much to say. I mean... The movie, there's a shark, it eats people, they want to close up the beach, the shark eats more people, they go on a quest to go kill the shark, the shark kills one of them, they kill the shark. It's basically the gist. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's, that's the gist. Well, we don't see the shark until the movie's halfway over. Uh, which I think uh, adds a lot more intrigue, a lot more, like, suspense. You know, I think it's great that we don't see the monster all that much at the beginning or the middle of the movie. I think it's great that they're hiding the shark. You don't really see her that much. I think it's great. Uh, some people may have probably, I want to see the shark. But I think it's great at adding suspense. And more, as I said, intrigue. Like, you, it makes you more interested in the monster because you don't exactly know what it looks like. I think that's, uh, uh, I like that. I like that. I think my favorite character was Hooper, the uh, the city guy. The guy that came in, he was like uh, an expert on like marine life and shit, especially sharks. And uh, he was great. He was really funny. Like a lot of the characters had really witty and funny dialogue. I really liked that. Like the dialogue was really well written and really, like it can be good at being serious sometimes and good at being funny at times. But it's not like quirky, like so hilarious random shit. It's like funny. Like, you know, it's like actually not in your face, but it's not like fucking 
super serious, you know, it's in between. And I think that's good. I think it's good to have movies that has serious moments, but also has its funny moments when they're needed, you know. I think the film is great at balancing. I think my favorite moment was definitely the end, obviously, uh, where, he, where he takes out the shark, it fucking blows up in a bunch of guts and shit. Uh, that's obviously the best part of the movie. Where the shark just it it eats the guy and then it blows up. So the 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 shark has like a compressed air tank in its mouth. Obviously, everybody knows. And like he shoots it and it blows up in a bunch of blood and guts and it's great. Uh, I mean, everybody's seen that scene. Everybody's seen that scene, but it's it's still the best scene. I mean, there's a reason everybody's seen that scene. It's because it's the best scene. But um, I don't know. I think it's just it's great. A bunch of shark guts everywhere. One more thing I'd like to add about this film is seeing this movie in 3D, honestly, if this film is in your theater, I do recommend you go seeing it. But I don't think the 3D really adds anything to the film. You just get to wear a pair of glasses the entire time you watch the film. Which, if you wear glasses, it's not much anything special. But, um... Or if you don't wear the glasses, you can just act like you need glasses the entire time. But, um... I do definitely recommend seeing this film in the theater. It was uh, quite the experience. It was really great to see this absolute classic film seen in the theater. I highly recommend it if it's near you. The big screen! It's great to see it on the big screen. Uh, and I bet if you're a fan of Spielberg, if you're a fan of films, go see it. I highly recommend it. So this is a this is a great horror film, you know, great horror film, uh, probably one of my favorites. And as you uh, as you can see, so it, like it started the whole shark exploitation craze. You know, you got you got Sharknado. Uh, I think it was uh, Deep Blue Sea. Uh, then there's Sharks of the Corn. Thanks, Jaws is fucking terrible. Then you got um, what's the we got Sand Sharks, Snow Sharks, Three Headed Shark. Uh, there was this one, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like a poltergeist shark movie. I think it was called Shark Sharktergeist or something like that. Uh, you know, there's tons of shark exploitation movies, and we can all thank, or fuck you, to Jaws. There's been definitely some hit and misses with shark exploitation, but all in all, I love the shark exploitation movies, and I have, to, I have all thanks to Jaws. All thanks to Jaws. So if you like shark exploitation movies, this is what started it. I think I've said my piece, and uh, I'd rate this film. Uh, would you say like a, like a nine? I think a nine out of ten. I think a nine out of ten is reasonable for this for this film. I think it's absolutely legendary and absolute classic, and I would highly recommend it in your in your nearest theater or just a physical copy, streaming, whatever. Just go out and watch it if you haven't seen it, um, or stay at your house and watch it, whatever. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you liked it. You know, hope you like this video. Share with your friends. Subscribe. Turn notifications on. Comment down below. Let me you liked it. And actually, I want to know what is your favorite shark exploitation film. Let me know down in the comments. But what I really meant to say was, actually, <laughs> what I, I didn't mean any of that. Except I do want to know your favorite shark exploitation film. Please let me know. I'd really like to. Know. But what I really meant to say was, if you guys hated this video, unsubscribe, dislike, tell me what you hate me in the comments. Signing off. Worked. You know what? I'm gonna need a bigger video. Fuck out of here. Love you, Bruce. Rest in peace.